Chennai Institute of Technology we uh, we established in 2010 during 2008 and 9 so i found uh, there was a lot of uh, um, challenges in uh, hiring students with the right uh, skill set for uh, manufacturing industry then i wanted to set up my own uh, finishing school when i was discussing with the academician to develop curriculum syllabus for this finishing school they advised me to start uh, Uh, full fledged engineering college because those days very difficult to hire students for manufacturing industry so that also uh, for finishing school nobody may not be interested to pay and uh, take the training that's why uh, we established this engineering college since our main objective of establishing this college is providing employability skills and deployability also so right from the day one we have been focusing on employability skills we at chennai institute of technology every year we have grown okay in terms of numbers always 100 percentage admissions uh, then in terms of academic results that is also very important Uh, for making yourself eligible for placements we hired a right talented faculty with excellent qualifications and commitment towards teaching not only as an engineer they also committed to become faculty teachers okay so that is very important so yeah. this helped us to achieve number 1 position in academic then i strongly believed and the main objective is employability and deployability we focused to understand industry expectation how the industry is, is moving and changing and how the job roles are changing in various industries manufacturing automotive engineering industries engineering service industries it service industries it product companies and the startup ecosystem also evolved in india so based on the inputs we regularly got from industry and industry experts and various uh, academicians academic institutions located in india and abroad i visited many institute many universities myself and my faculty leadership team visited based on that whatever we have seen and we have learned and whatever information we received from them we designed special curriculums and uh, uh, curriculum and syllabus based on that we established lab facilities with uh, jointly with the various other universities located in developed countries as well as academic institute at all institute also from the industry we jointly established various uh, lab facilities okay in addition to what is required as per our affiliating universities curriculum okay to meet industry demands in terms of hardware software and we also trained our faculty so that they can in, in turn they can train one such unique example and a pioneer initiative for industry academia collaboration in building talented resources immediately deployable after joining any organization was uh, pega university academia program first time in india versus a pega and cit established first industry academy of collaborator skill building uh, facility for uh, in in uh, business process management domain with the pegas tool technology partner so now that uh, uh, university academy program so popular across india more than 3000 students are enrolled in various engineering colleges and universities and hired by more than 100 uh, Uh, industries close to 2500 to 3000 students are being trained resources are being hired by them and they are all deployable immediately and the, and the whoever uh, part of this university academy program they have grown in their organizations chennai institute of technology is a telugu linguistic minority anna university affiliated autonomous institute this is very very important okay and uh, approved by aict okay uh, since we are telugu minority linguistic minority institution 50 percentage admission 
happen through single window counseling in Tamil Nadu engineering admission single window counseling process okay in the for that 50 percent they have to apply tnea counseling process undergo tnea counseling process there are various criteria eligibility and uh, your uh, some community based reservations also there okay remaining 50 percentage admission can happen through management quota for this management quota we can admit students from uh, uh, throughout india various other states not only in tamil nadu from other states also students can join the minimum eligibility required as per uh, anna university aict is around 50 percentage okay mark in uh, their plus two mark in th- for management quota there is no uh, entrance examination institution like in tamil nadu entrance examinations are not there I strongly believe self-learning is the better, best way to learn for this millennial. They can learn better, much better. Okay. The classrooms and labs or campuses help them to learn how to learn. That is very important. Something definitely you need to learn physically at the university itself, campuses. Okay. But many things you can learn on your own. Okay. So since we practiced day one onwards this culture, uh, we quickly adapted to that uh, mode, the digital learning, online learning mode during pandemic. We organized around 600 online webinars, especially for our students, okay? Webinars we organized, okay? Bringing various experts. In fact, uh, our uh, teaching learning process mature and more effective during a pandemic period, I can say. We brought uh, uh, experts from industries, not only in India, uh, in, anywhere. Uh, globally, we identified people and they said, and academicians also from uh, QS ranked top universities, uh, faculties, and the NIT, IIT professors also shared many sessions. And industry uh, experts also shared their thoughts and uh, motivated students and that they taught some subjects also that really helped us. Now, post pandemic, it becomes a hybrid way of learning. Okay, The fundamentals they are learning inside classroom and labs are helping them to do some practices and many other things. So whatever happening, uh, uh, the, the technological advancement, all those things. We, we have uh, some platforms and also we advise students to learn some platforms for uh, use some platform for learning and uh, advanced technologies. For learning, uh, if you take labs, the state of the art labs, world class lab facilities, for meeting students aspirations, for example, if you wanted to become data scientist, we have facility. If you wanted to become good robotic engineer, we have many robots and we associated with many industries. They helped us to set up this facility and they are hand-holding and they are training our faculty. Sometimes they are training our students and also the trained resources since available, that is also helping students to do better. All these labs are open 24 hours and seven days throughout, uh, even during holidays also, they can even, uh, they can spend and they can do various projects. Uh, and the students, sometimes th- these labs, they themselves can use, we, we, we may not uh, having uh, resources in the night uh, the faculty, but students are authorized to access and do any, they learn and do anything. Okay, that is another important culture we established. We have technology business incubator. Students, if you have an idea, if you would like to incubate your uh, idea, your company, so from idea to POC, POC to uh, product, then product to business venture, it is possible. For that, we have very good support system. Many of our students got funding. We arranged funding from various uh, government and uh, semi-government and uh, private organization funded their project. Okay, so they become uh, industry. They are becoming. Uh, they are setting up start. Then may they, soon they become industry. Our career uh, development center. Okay, now we. The most important. Uh, our focus is. We have. Uh, 
vision for this department and it clearly mentions what kind of career the students aspiring to get we should build career for them sir we should prepare them to get that career okay that is very important for that each and every year uh, who were aspiring to have placed placement inside our campus okay campus placement we should place all the students for who were aspiring to get this is one second each and every year we are increasing average salary as well as median salary and highest salary and every year we wanted to get at least 20 to 30 new companies new recruiter we wanted to bring to our institute that is why so last year we almost for the 7 8 years almost around 90 to 100% placement is happening